haven't seen the world, so you don't know. You keep going for family. The recent hit TV series, The Last of Us, introduced us to a world ruled by fungus. That's a slight exaggeration, but in real life, fungus does actually help almost everything exist. It's used in food and drink fermentation, antibiotics manufacturing, and to break down organic matter for making soil. And perhaps most worrisome, it can turn certain creatures into zombies. Explaining. The zombie fungus on the show is called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, or cordyceps, which as a result of climate change, hijacks humans' brains and zombifies its hosts. But even though this particular fungus does actually exist, scientists have reassured us that thankfully it only infects spiders and insects, mostly ants, but not us. How does the infection process work? When an unlucky ant is separated from its colony and stumbles onto the forest floor, it can unwittingly step on a cordyceps spore, which then latches on the ant, releasing digestive enzymes that decompose the outer shell. Mycelia then grow inward and eventually commandeer the ant's brain to begin producing neurotransmitters that affect functionality. The ant's behavior remains normal for about a week, but then the fungus becomes so developed that it actually compels the ant to isolate on the underside of a leaf, where the ant locks its jaws until the fungus fruiting body erupts from the ant's head and bursts open and rains down more spores that infect other ants to perpetuate the cycle. In a case of art imitating life, the fictional plot of The Last of Us depicts cordyceps as a terrifying fungus that ravages the human world. Whereas in real life, cordyceps truly is terrifying if you're an ant. But here's the plot twist. Cordyceps is actually edible and has been used medicinally for thousands of years, especially in East Asian cultures as a tonic with purported immunity boosting and anti-inflammatory effects. Cordyceps boasts a wide range of nutritionally important components, including various essential amino acids, vitamins B1, B2, B12 and K, different kinds of carbohydrates, some medicinally important proteins such as sterols and nucleosides, and other trace elements. In traditional Chinese medicine, cordyceps has mainly been used to treat asthma and other bronchial conditions, and to boost energy and sex drive. One study even discovered that cordycepine offers a potent antibacterial action against the majority of bacterial species that are resistant to many commonly prescribed antibiotics. Despite what The Last of Us has led us to believe, cordyceps is harmless to humans and only zombifies insects like ants. Nevertheless, thousands of fungi are harmful to us, so could something similar trigger a crisis for humanity? Stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll have a full-on explanation on fungi. That's it for today. I'm Ning. I'll see you next time. <laughs>